Good evening and welcome to Morris's Midweek Message, the very last Midweek Message. These nine months have been a challenge for us all and uh, I hope that uh, this little spiritual encouragement during the middle of the week has been helpful to you. This Sunday in church uh, we're having a, an all age carols and reading service uh, so we hope you'll tune into that uh, at the normal places. This evening we'll look at the three kings, traditionally three kings, who brought their gifts to the baby Jesus. We find the story of the Magi in Matthew chapter 2 and at verse 1. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, For this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their own country by another route. Who were these magi, these kings from the east? We don't really know, but there were a group of spiritual people in, in Persia and Iran who were confident of the emperors, and the leaders of their nation. They seemed to have spiritual insight. They read the signs of the times. They were a bit prophetic in what they did. They searched the stars, in the sky. They were astronomers and maybe a bit of astrology in there as well. Some of them developed a, a sense of community, became almost like monks gathering together in a monastery, and, and they searched for truth. And these three, if there were three, found a new truth in the star that rose in the east and came to find out who this new king was. I want us to think about the gifts that they brought to the baby Jesus eventually when they found him in Bethlehem. They came and they worshipped him and they brought him three gifts, three very significant gifts. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. Gold was the gift that you gave to a king, the most precious of metals in those days. You had to bring a gift to the king and you had to bring him the very best that you could offer. And gold was the very best. And so these kings from the east brought to this little baby the gift of gold. They brought their very best and they submitted and worshipped him. Admiral Lord Nelson was a very, very astute admiral. But he was also very kind and generous to his defeated opponents. And he got a reputation of treating 
his defeated enemies with kindness and with respect. On one occasion, a defeated admiral thought that he could play on this and he came towards Lord Nelson almost as if he had won the battle and not been defeated and he stuck out his hand to shake Lord Nelson's hand and Nelson wouldn't have any of it. It's reported that he said this to the Admiral, your sword first and then your hand before we can have fellowship together you must submit to my authority you have been defeated and sometimes we've got to remember that when we come to Jesus before we can treat him as a friend we must submit to him as our saviour and our Lord. So they brought him gold and worshipped him as a king. They bought him frankincense and this was the gift for a priest. It was a sweet perfume that was used in the temple. And so this gift was to recognise that Jesus, this little baby, was the chief priest. The name priest means bridge builder. And that's so appropriate for Jesus because he is the bridge builder between our heavenly father and us sinful human beings. By his death upon the cross, he reached up to his father's hand and he reached in to our hand and he brought us together by his sacrifice. They bought him frankincense for the priest who was to build the bridge of hope and of peace and of reconciliation. They brought him the gift of myrrh. My myrrh was a very special ointment, very expensive ointment. And it was used on the bodies of those who had died to cover up any stench or smell. It was the last thing you did for someone that you loved. You used all that you had to buy the most expensive perfume that you could, ointment, that was filled with myrrh to anoint the body. It was the gift for one who has died. And of course, Jesus was to die to take away our sin. Remember the women coming on that resurrection day to anoint his body? It hadn't been able to have been done on the day Jesus died, on that Good Friday but they were coming now to anoint his body, probably with mare. And so here we have these three kings foretelling the life of Jesus. They worshipped him as a king. They recognised he was a great high priest. He was the bridge builder. They also recognised that he would die die for the sin of the world. What gifts can we bring to such a king as this? Will he ask us to bring ourselves to offer our lives into his service? So at this Christmas season, he's not looking for anything special He's not looking for the latest gadget. He just wants you to say thank you and to recognise him as your king, as your great high priest, and as your saviour. Shall we pray together? 
Father, thank you for reminding us that Jesus is our King. He is our great High Priest, the Bridge Builder. And he is the one who died in our stead, taking our place that we might be reconciled to you. What gift can we offer then this Christmas season? The gift of a life offered into his service. We promise this evening that we will serve him, that we will follow him, that we would listen to his voice. Forgive us when we haven't done so. But in these difficult and challenging days, may his star burn bright in our lives. May his hope reign in us and through us into our community. May grace, mercy and peace from Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all this day and forevermore.